Welcome to Ohio Pile, Pennsylvania. We're in southwestern Pennsylvania, pretty close to West Virginia and Maryland where they kind of all come together. And Ohio Pile is a, kind of a campground, nature preserve area, state park, all in one. There's a little town. It's where campers, motorcycle enthusiasts, and adventurers alike come to visit. And there's a lot to see here. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of the river and some of the waterfalls, and then also take you into the town. So let's check it out. This here will give you a sneak peek on why people come here from all around. Definitely a huge travel destination for people who live in the Pittsburgh area as well as many other areas. But no surprise on why this is popular. Let's actually get down much closer to the water here and see the immense power of these waves. People kayak and uh, whitewater raft throughout here. You're not going to see too many people going over this fall right here because it's a little big, but generally speaking, we'll see a lot today. You see up the river here, you have people camping out, hanging out along the shoreline, and even on the rocks in the middle. The water is pretty shallow around here, so you can actually walk across, which is pretty cool. So we'll make our way up the river in a little bit, and I'll show you some other spots. But in the meantime, let's get into the town. I'll show you what this town's like. You can stay at little motels. You can camp here, and there's a pretty cool campground, Unicoi State Park, that you can stay at. And you can actually take one of the trails from the campground right into the town here. Uh, they got a couple of little restaurants and bars as well for nightlife. So Pretty cool, pretty entertaining. We definitely like it a lot, so let's go. See here, one of many areas as we get into town where people will either rent bikes, rent canoes or kayaks. I should say kayaks, probably not too much canoeing going on here with the rapids, or taking a guided tour. Looks like this group here probably doing whitewater rafting if I were to guess. Go with a guide down the river and then come pick you up after you're done. Pretty cool, I've done it once. Definitely recommend it. It's not too challenging here, but there are a few of the falls that are pretty intense. And I've come across something that does not look like it's still operational, but look at this here. Some kind of obstacle course, zip line sort of thing. So you can get the idea of the type of place this is, but. Uh, it's a busy Sunday. There's a lot of people here in town, but no one up here in the middle of the day. So perhaps they're closed on Sunday, which wouldn't make sense, or perhaps they're just not operating right now. But we're going to cut through here, past a little post office and a park, and we'll get right into the town. Got some carvings here on these rocks. Looks like some kind of pelican, seagull, some other birds. Don't see a goose though. I wonder if there is one. Oh, we got an eagle. Oh, here we go. I think that's a duck. Close enough though. In the past, as I've walked around back here, I've seen a lot of vendors set up. Today we've got maybe one stall, or is that two people selling some clothes and jewelry? But other times I've been here and this whole area has been filled with both food and uh, different things to buy. And there's this cute little coffee shop. They do tea, little sandwiches here, which we like. We've been here a couple times. There's actually a new one, a new place. I'm not sure how new, how long it's been here if we just always missed it. That's just around the corner here. It's about 80 degrees, pretty sunny. So I'm going to get a cold drink and we'll check them out. On our way to the coffee shop, we're passing the Ohio Pile Suites. Uh, this place looks nice now. For a while, it laid completely abandoned. Some of the doors were open and we peeked our head in and it looked like no one had been in here for a long time. And we said this would have been the prime filming location for a new horror movie. But looks like instead of filming a horror movie, somebody actually bought it, cleaned it up a little bit. They've got a cute little fire pit gazebo area here. And it looks like some people are staying. It looks clean, so they've probably done a good job with it. 
but only a few <laughs> only a few years ago this looked like you know Friday the 13th part 15 or whatever they're on now but maybe it's worth checking out but anyways across the way here is the coffee shop that I noticed earlier I do not recall this being here last time we were here so we'll give them a chance we'll check them out see if they're any good Got a nice coffee. It's pretty good, actually. They were really nice. Uh, once in a while you walk in with a camera and everyone looks at you like you're fucking nuts because <laughs> there's no one in there but me. I just walked in filming and they kind of got a little bugged out, but they were super nice after they realized I was just having a good time. All right, so over this way, there's a few other places. Ice cream, rafting trips, you know. Like I said, everyone's kind of doing some kind of adventure over here. We're going to head back that way towards the river in a few more minutes. But right now I want to show you one of my favorite spots over here. So if you're staying at the uh, Ohio Pile Suites or one of the motels or rent a cabin around here, or if you stay at the state, uh, the state park at night, there's not too much to do, but everyone pretty much in the whole area ends up over here. You could actually get here by bike too, which we've done that once. There's a bike trail right there, which I'm going to show you the map later. It's pretty impressive. I've done a lot of it, but not anything too crazy. But either way, whether you just want to stop for a cold drink while you're on the trail or come here at night, there's usually like live music and they sell beer to go. Also have a bunch, you know, available on tap or by can. You can hang out here. So it's a pretty cool spot. You see the deck up there. Pretty much every time I've ever been in Ohio Pile, we've ended up there at night. Today we're just here for a day trip, but next time we go camping, we'll definitely come back. So they call it the Ohio Pile House Cafe, and there's actually a restaurant here, and then this is the bar I was talking about. Something is different. I can't put my finger on it, but there used to be... Okay, so I remember sitting at these tables for a while, but there used to be a game right over here somewhere, but something's been moved. But if you ever played that game where you have like a ring on a string and there's a hook and you try to uh, oh, let me not get killed right here and you try to get the ring to you swing it try to get it to go on the hook it used to be right there so someone moved something but either way still pretty cool and then back over here this is the one of the main parking lots depending on how busy it is parking can be a big issue and that sucks. Someone's AirPods. Put it up here. Looks like it's probably this car. I'm not sure. Hopefully no one steals them. But yeah, this is the bike trail here. So I want to find the map and show you what it's like. Because this goes uh, super far and you can hear the river through the trees if you listen faintly. And pretty much as you take this round, you can go uh, hundreds of miles. I think, I'm pretty sure this connects to the Appalachian Trail somehow, but when we find the map, we'll confirm that. But goes down the river. We rode our bikes maybe 10 miles down that way once, and on the other side of the river, there's a train track. And as we were going down the, the trail next to the river, there's a train moving slowly across on the other side. It was uh, incredible, absolutely beautiful. So as we're walking up here, you can see what I was talking about. The Ohio Pile State Campground is right up here so just take this trail about a mile or so up there and there's a little cutoff that you can go straight to the uh the campsites which makes it pretty easy if you don't want to drive the roads here are very windy and very very narrow so at night it could be a dark and kind of sketchy this will give you a good idea of where we are so we're in the the town right here as of right now but you can see the general layout of the park is is really big and then if you take this trail where we're near across the river and up you can cut off here to the campground like i was talking about i think i called it unicoi i'm mixing up with somewhere else we go it's, it's kentuck that's what it's called on the other side of the map here i found the trail here so this is called the uh, greater allegheny passage and you can see 
the red is where we're on. It goes from Pittsburgh to Cumberland, Maryland, and actually connects to another trail, which would take you all the way to D.C. I've known several people have done it. They've rode their bike from Pittsburgh to D.C. It takes about five days one way, so it's uh, not easy. I certainly haven't done that, but if you see here, zoomed in on the Allegheny Passage, you see we're in Ohio Pile. So I've done this ride from Ohio Pile to Confluence, and then I've also done this dozens of times from Pittsburgh to McKeesport, which is about, you know, 10, 15 miles for each. Nothing too crazy. This whole section here is 148 miles that you could ride. So pretty cool, a lot to see. And one of the best parts is right here, which we're going to get up to, that I think you'll think is uh, pretty cool, pretty impressive. And definitely, uh, if you're into biking and you live anywhere around here, you should try this. I mean, this is wild. We're coming right up to the river here. So this is part of the trail officially, and it's a nice bridge here that's gonna go over the river. It's the first of two. There's actually another bridge about, I don't know, 10 minute walk from here, which I'm gonna go to next. And that really, that one gets really high. And on that one, you're gonna see all the whitewater rafters, the uh, people in kayaks. You can actually see some of the falls that they jump over. Nothing too intense, but there are a few that you can actually get over. So here, this will give you a nice view, kind of where we're at. The other side here is much more impressive, so let's check this out. And of course, along the banks here, you're going to see people with their families, with their dogs, hanging out in the river, like I said earlier. Mile marker 72 on the uh, Greater Allegheny Passage. So that could be a long day, a long couple days. If you're riding a bike to get this far from Cumberland, Maryland, but it certainly would be worth it. And I'm sure anyone who does this journey plans to make this one of their official stops once they get up here. This is also really cool. This is a general store and a restaurant, Falls Market. So it's kind of the, I'd call it the center of town, I guess. There's a couple more behind these trees up that way that we like to go to, but Falls Market's usually a go-to for us. You can get supplies, souvenirs, but also sandwiches and other snacks there, which is pretty cool. And then the river here, which it's hard to tell from this high, but it's, it is pretty shallow. You can see that kid walking there. So some people will get all the way across or stay on those rocks out there. Very cool. And then if you want to go whitewater rafting, there's another shop and uh, kind of tour area across the bridge, which we're going to go to in a little while. And they have um, one of our favorite shops in the area, big like outdoorsman type shop. So yeah, give you another view over here real quick before we go through the woods. Like I said, probably 10 minute walk to the next one and the next bridge is really, really high. We've made it to the bridge. So this is the second walking bridge I was talking about. It's really high, but it's awesome incredible view here you're gonna see a lot of the kayakers and whitewater rafters that I talked about earlier you're gonna see them down here oh yeah there's a huge group look at this see in the distance you've got a bunch of rafters stopped there I think there's a few rocks you can kind of beach on and jump off of that might be what they're doing or they might be just taking a break and there's a bunch of little kayakers passing them as well see some fishermen down there don't know how easy it is to see but well, here's a few coming through right here. So there they come. You can hire a guide and just go through these. There are some bumps here. We did the whitewater rafting before. It's not too difficult, but you definitely get a, a few water slides. And then where these guys are going in the blue kayaks up front to the right, there are definitely some, I guess, more rapids or some slides. There's one quite a bit ahead of them. That It's a little hard to see from here, but it's, it's a big dip. Let's see these guys go off. You can see him drop. The guy in the front right there, he's about to go. Now, it doesn't look like much from here, but in person it's much more. I see a big group here. Now let's see here, those two in the front, where they're going. No, they're going to the left, so the tough part is to the right, but it looks like they bypassed it. And then over here, we'll take a look at the other side. This is where everyone's coming from. 
So that'll be heading back towards the town area that we were in. So you could ride from here, go down the river a couple miles, get picked up and brought back. Definitely like to do it again soon. Our dog is over here doing uh, her crab walk. She's pretty brave, but whenever she goes somewhere high, she like will still walk across the whole bridge, but she likes to crouch and walk like a little crab. Are you hot? Time for some water? All right, let's have some water. Made our way back into town, across from Falls Market. Maybe we'll get something to eat soon, but I want to show you this. One of the uh, Instagram highlights of all of Ohio Pile. The sign. Everyone takes pictures here. So, we will too. Taking a little bit of a walk right now, away from town. So there's town back there. And we're going to go up the road. A few minutes. Five, ten minutes or so. And there's a really unique, cool thing here. We're going to see it's a natural water slide. So there's smooth rocks that go down just like a water slide. And people will slide down it. I've done it before. It's not completely smooth. There's a few bumps, but it's really funny to watch people. So we're going to see if anyone's doing it now. It suddenly got quite overcast compared to how it was earlier. But I think there will be some kids still trying it. So let's go. See, Meadow Run, natural water slides, part of the state park. Safe to say with all these cars here that there's still gonna be quite a few people on them. So we'll go check them out, see what uh, how brave people are and how cold the water is. We can already hear the screams of adrenaline from young children who find thrills in this stuff. Not that I don't, but I think I'm too cold right now to get in the water. But you can see here, quite clearly already, as Josie examines the steps, that this river forms a natural water slide. And we'll soon see people come down, hopefully. Josie, this way, this way. <laughs> oh, it's a little rough, but oh yeah, there's a lot of people going down up there, so we'll climb up. But it's quite interesting how this happened. Just a very small little river stream going through and just a slight enough incline. Oh, you can tell how cold they are. <laughs> There's some girl on the top. Let's see if she can make it. Yeah. Yeah, there's a big bump right here and here where you can hit yourself pretty hard on your butt. But. Well, she's trying to go, but she's going slow. Let's see if we can get any closer. I want to see someone get some major speed down with the right kind of foot equipment. Maybe not shoes that I'm wearing right now, but you kind of have to make your way across these rocks, quite shallow. And then this is a good starting point. Let's see if someone will go. Come on, we need someone to show off. Here we go. She's going for it. Oh. No one's getting any speed. I wonder if the water's a little low. Oh. <laughs> you can see her bouncing. Not quite as thrilling as when people are flying fast, but definitely trying. And I can see the water is extremely cold. It's very, very slippery. There's a video that exists of me somewhere where I'm standing right about here. And then the camera just goes whoop, and I just slammed on the ground. So we'll try not to do that again today. Today's biggest challenge is definitely the cold. Everyone says it's so cold. That's why no one's really going for it. But it continues sliding here and then goes down to the more calmer part of the river. And there's a 
really neat trail on this side that we've done and it goes back to the main part of the, the big river that we started at so you can kind of curve around and go under the bridge we went over towards those waterfalls some unique rock formations here it's cool there's a picture of me from a long time ago on one of these rocks this is too tall but somewhere down here where I'm standing under it looking like I'm holding the rocks up kind of a funny picture but head back up to the road maybe later in the summer when it's hotter out we'll try it but right now it dropped it was 80 degrees earlier but now it's almost cool in the last couple hours and I believe we're about to get rained on one thing I've noticed as we're walking around that I don't remember seeing before is there's these feet so you see the white footprints and those ones clearly go to the waterfall and as you're walking around town you'll see different colors so the white ones go to the waterfall there's some yellow ones here that cut off down that way which I think is part of the trail I mentioned while we're at the falls and then in the town there's a bunch of other colors so I'm sure there's a map we can find somewhere I saw some uh, like information stands that had brochures on them I bet it'll tell us but that's something to look out for if you're here because if you're trying to find something specific it makes it really easy and one common thing besides the loud motorcycles one common thing that everyone has an issue with here is that there's no cell service pretty much for anyone you know, people are all struggling to use their maps and whatnot they put in uh, some kind of local Wi-Fi network that's here that wasn't here before and it's actually okay it, it's not bad at all so it's better than having nothing at all but when you get far out here towards the uh, the water slides or other areas obviously it's not gonna work it's mainly just in the town but yeah that that path from the water slides behind us that I was talking about will go down and this is part of that same stream and you end up going out here somewhere and then to the left down the main river and then we went up through these hills and ended up actually coming back at that crosswalk there it took us like if I remember one or two hours probably closer to two hours to do the whole thing but it was really cool and there's a huge waterfall back up that way on the trail I think we're gonna go to it today if it doesn't rain too soon but we'll drive to it because uh, it's a it's a long walk we got the dog she can't handle that much so if the weather holds out, we're going to get some food right now, and we'll check out that, that big waterfall next. It's been a long, hot day with a lot of walking, so we need to refuel. We're back here at Falls Market. They usually have pretty good vegetarian options. I'm not sure what they have, so we'll see. We'll order something good. Something to refuel us. Oh yeah, I see it already. Teriyaki tofu wrap. <laughs> we'll do that. <laughs> this wrap is good, <clears throat> but the teriyaki sauce is pouring out like liquid. So I've made a complete mess of myself. I guess it's not the worst thing that could happen. That was really good. We both, uh, we've been walking all day. We both at the exact same time were like, I'm super lightheaded and I'm gonna pass out. So we decided to stop. Worked out well. We're going across the automobile bridge. Which has a walkway here. We're under the path that we walked across earlier. And we're going across the river here, past the train tracks. And there's a, a shop over here that we really like and it's got a bunch of outdoor stuff they also do whitewater rafting this is actually the company i went with the, the time i did it so we'll see if we can find anything interesting watch these people in the water i'll probably wrap up this adventure it's been a long day and i'm feeling it for sure so let's, let's go for one more here she is wilderness voyagers these are the train tracks I was talking about too that follow the river where I saw the train while I was biking. A few years ago, we put a 
few coins on the track and we were over here somewhere there's like a it's like a brewery or a bar or something over there we had lunch and so we waited for a train while we we're eating lunch and then a train finally came and smashed all our coins we still have them somewhere I'm not sure where but here you can see all these people getting ready either going or just getting back from whitewater rafting take pretty big groups maybe three or four boats at a time so pretty cool spot so you see here in Ohio pile there's actually quite a few areas with things to do and quite a lot of options the whole area is definitely catered towards this sort of thing like biking and adventuring our favorite oh yeah there's the the yacht what do you say yacht yeah river you guys go to you got a bunch of stuff here so all of your adventuring needs we've gotten quite a few things from here how's that looks good for the uh, back of the car I think it'll match pretty nicely that was an absolutely exhausting day but so much fun so thank you for joining me in Ohio pile we'll be back later this summer it's only beginning mid-june right now so there's a lot of summer to go we'll certainly be back we'll see more maybe we'll stay in one of these creepy looking former bed and breakfasts that's now closed well hey this could be the new horror movie so now that that other inn was reopened here it is so join us for death in ohio pile